My name is Anne Thompson, and talking about opera is my passion. At the moment, I'm standing here surrounded by dozens of shiny pianos, some of them grand, some of them uh, straight-up pianos, because this is where eventually, on the September the 23rd at 5.30, Opera in the Heights is going to preview the first of their operas of the season, which is actually a double bill, two one-actors. One, an unusual one, it's called Il Tabarro by Puccini, and the other one is Pagliacci by Leon Cavallo that most people are familiar with. Now, Opera in the Heights is a wonderful way to enjoy opera. It's very intimate, and the one thing that everybody tells me is how wonderful it is to sit up so close to the performers and see their eyes shine and um, also see, for instance, something that interests me very much, and that is how they produce that magnificent sound of the operatically trained voice. You actually see them do that diaphragmatic breathing and shaping the mouth to uh, bring out those wonderful sounds. So this is one of the great advantages of going to Opera in the Heights, its intimacy. It's also um, not downtown, so it's much easier to get there as well. Parking is great. And all in all, the operatic experience at Opera in the Heights is one that you will never forget, especially if you've come to the previews that they are instituting now before each of the uh, performances. Usually, I think it's going to be the evening before opening night. So you look at opening night, one the night before is when I'll be doing my horse and pony show here. Also, of course, they have um, the singers that they can bring um, to the preview for you as well, and there's absolutely nothing like standing in the same room as in when an opera singer opens his or her mouth and lets loose. So, I look forward to seeing all of you on the evening of September the 23rd at 5.30 at the uh, Houston Piano Company at 1518 West 13th for a preview by Opera in the Heights of their two one-actors, Il Tabarro by Puccini and Pagliacci by Leon Cavallo. See you then, I hope.